Did you see a cute outfit online or on TV that you're not sure how to find? In this video, I'm gonna share with you the best tools for finding clothes from a picture. When we are creating our capsules, we generally have a pretty good idea of what we want to include. We had either saved a picture or pinned it on a board, but when it comes time to actually shop for the item, oftentimes we can't find it. And this is something that has come up a lot in the one-on-one -on -one consultations that I've been doing. I find that for the most part, people have a great sense of their own personal style and the general direction they want to go into, but where they get stuck is when it comes to applying it to their wardrobes. So I thought I would share with you the best tools that I use to help you find those similar items, or in some cases, the exact items so that you can include them in your capsules. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Fernanda and I make videos to help you build a wardrobe that you love without having to buy a million things to do so. So if you're into that, please subscribe. You can hit the diamond over here to do so. Let's get to it. Depending on what item I am hoping to find, I will use one of several different tools. The one that I tend to use the most often first is Pinterest because oftentimes when somebody's asking me to find an item or like telling me an inspiration of something they would like to include in their capsule, it's already pinned on their inspiration board, which very often actually lives on Pinterest. And lucky for us, Pinterest already has a shopping function built into it. Particularly when I'm looking for an item that is either very simple or easy to describe or something that I believe is very current and it's going to be very easy to find, like a white collared shirt or a pair of jeans in a specific cut, then Pinterest is the great place to find it. So I'll show you a very quick example. This is a Pinterest board of somebody who's looking for a burgundy pant. And I tried to get more information as to what specifically she's looking for, like whether she wants full leather or a trouser or maybe even a burgundy denim. I wasn't able to quite tell. But just from looking at this board, I'm able to see which of these images are from a retailer and which are just from bloggers. So what you wanna do is pick the ones that look like are from a retailer, because oftentimes those will automatically take you to those websites so that you can shop them. This little tab you'll see highlights a shirt and top outerwear, and it's essentially Pinterest asking you, what are you looking for? If you don't see these tabs, you wanna scroll all the way down and hit on this little tag that says view similar products. That is how you get to the shopping tab on a browser. But I'm gonna tell it that I want pants and automatically is going to show me a ton of pants similar to the ones in that photo. So then I can start looking and I can see like, oh, here's something from Chico's for $60 It's some discount. So that's not bad, but it's leggings. She did say she wanted pants. Over here we have something that's actual leather which would be great if she's looking for that, but it is kind of pricey. We have something plus size, if you are plus size yourself. So that's wonderful. We have something a little less red, but in leather. So you can see how you can get an idea of where you can find certain things. If the faux leather isn't particularly what she's looking for, then we can close this tab and return to the board and try a different image, perhaps this one. And here we can see it's from amazon.com. It's a Rachel Zoe suit so we can hit the pants and i bet you it's going to take us there we can go on amazon and search for that specific item if you're comfortable shopping on amazon otherwise you can browse this feature and continue to look for what you want and likely you will find it this is very helpful again if you're looking for something that is very easy to find very generic where you maybe don't know exactly what you're looking for but you're open to a little bit of variety in the items that you're searching for. Another way to use Pinterest to search for items and the way that I actually prefer to use it is actually on the mobile application. It is super easy to very quickly snap a photo of the item that you see either out on the street, on a magazine, or even screenshot it when you're scrolling on Instagram with your phone and upload that directly into Pinterest. And you don't even actually have to pin it or put it in a board or anything like that. Here I have a magazine and like, let's say I'm looking for a pair of orange pants like this. So I'm gonna open the Pinterest app and open the search function on it. And you'll see that on the top right hand corner, there is this little camera icon. That's where I wanna tap. And if you've given the app access to your camera, then you will be able to take a photo of whatever is in front of you. So Pinterest will automatically take this analyze it and suggest similar things. Sometimes I will find that specific image if it's from a publisher, like you can see in this case, there is the image. But then if I toggle over to the shop tab, it is going to find similar items to the ones that are already in my image. It won't find the exact item unless I give it more details, 
but for the most part it gets it pretty right so you can see that it's finding a lot of pants in that similar cut in a similar color and the prices are all over the place so it's very good if you're looking for different budgets we start with $450 here's a pair for 99 though it looks like that's drawstring so maybe we want something a little more structured these are even baggier but they're $188 maybe that's a little more affordable here's a pair for 150 that I think looks fantastic so you can see how you can start looking for the specific item that you want and then you can tap through and essentially check out the websites of the retailers that are showing you these things. Let's see if we can find a specific pair of orange pants that we like. Like we, I like those, those Isabel trouser queen pants, $154, pretty good. So then I can visit the website, it will take me automatically to the retailer's website and I can see if I wanna buy it. Another way that you can use Pinterest that I really like as an initial step is actually just taking a screenshot of whatever website or Instagram account you see online and giving Pinterest that information so that it can search for it. So I asked you guys what type of items you were looking for and Ice and Cake gave me the image of this jumpsuit and she said that she didn't realize it was a jumpsuit but that she wants a top that will have those characteristics. Looking at it for me, this looks like something that is likely going to come from a bridal store or something like that if we want it to be high quality. You can find lace often and everywhere, but often it's gonna be very inexpensive and probably not super comfortable. So if you want something that you can wear like that, like with no bra that is built in so that it has modesty inserts and all of that stuff, and it looks that elegant, a bridal shop is my, I don't know, I get the sense that that's where we're gonna find it. But let's see, I hope I'm wrong. So same situation, I'm gonna start with the search function, tap the camera option, but this time I'm gonna say that I want to upload a photo. So I cropped that photo already, and then we're gonna see what it comes up. It does recognize the top immediately, and it starts to give me some options. I'm already in the shop tab. So there are some options, nothing quite the same. I am seeing a lot of lace and a lot of stuff that can be worn under a camisole. But I actually have a feeling that we might find something better if we look for a lace white bodysuit that she could wear with high-waisted white trousers. So I'm gonna show you another trick that I use and I'm gonna move this information from Pinterest onto Google and we'll see what we can find. When I don't have luck finding something originally on Pinterest or if it didn't give me an idea of where I can find what I need, I then go to Google. And Google can be a little bit tricky sometimes because it's so vast that unless you're using the specific keywords that the retailer used to put that thing on the website, it's unlikely that you're gonna meet them. So if you're finding something generic, it's a little bit easier, but if not, you have to play a little bit of detective and find keywords and refine your search as you go. So let me show you what, I'm, what I mean. So I'm gonna type in lace white bodysuit. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. There's some see-through ones, some lace ones, printed fitted scoop knit thong bodysuit, that's pretty good. So I like to go to the images tab and then just look at a very quick glance of what it's giving me. If the images look similar to what I'm looking for, then I know I'm on the right track. But if it looks really off, then what I usually do is refine my keywords. And the way I do it is I find an item that is kind of more on the right track of what I wanna find, and I see how it's described so that I can add some of those keywords onto my search. I have a feeling that this might be closer to what she wants. So I am going to open this website and see how it's described so that we can use some of those keywords and hopefully find some more options. Okay, so long sleeve, that's another keyword that I can add. Okay, now these things are looking closer to what we're actually looking for. So then we can start to browse, like this looks pretty good. This is crocheted, but it looks like it's just the back and it's actually on Pinterest, so I don't think that's a good idea. This one looks fine, but it's on Amazon, so I'm guessing it's not gonna be great quality. This one I think is just funky lingerie. Whatever tickles your pickle. Actually, I do like this one, 12.50, no. Poshmark. Ooh, I like this one. So let's say this is $15, but it's actually probably used. So that is why it's probably so affordable, which is nice. 
So anyway, so you get an idea of how you can use keywords and keyword definition to keep searching for what you're looking for until you find something that you think you like or that fits your style. Somebody else mentioned that they were looking for a particular item from Simone Virch's collection with H&M. I can look for that specific item. I'm probably not gonna find it new, but I can probably find it secondhand. I think she was talking about the pants. She didn't specify. But just in case, let's start with that. So I wanna pop it onto Pinterest real quick. There are some similar items, but Pinterest is actually returning a lot of pajamas, which I'm guessing is not what she's searching for. So let's let that go and move on to Google. So in this case, I am going to start by searching specifically for that collection and we'll see what the search returns. A feature of Google that I'm usually surprised that people don't use more often is the shopping tab. It's so basic and it's just right here next to the images. And this will essentially pull everything online that is for sale and categorized as such. And it's fantastic because you can even filter by retailer, by size or whatever, but I'll, I'll show you more of this as we go on. Particularly with this pair of pants, I can see that there's a pair already on Poshmark. It doesn't say exactly what size it is, size 34, and it's $259. I don't know how much it retailed for to begin with because I believe that the price on the site over here is in pesos. Back, here's another pair. He's with size 26, and it looks like it's actually new. So that's it as far as finding that particular pair of pants. But just for kicks, let's find her something similar. So I'm gonna start searching keywords again, but this time instead of just starting to search Google, I am just going to input my search directly onto the shopping tab so that you can see how you can refine it as you go. So let's say women's, plaid red pants here's another tip if you don't want in the case of this particular item it's going to return a lot of pajama pants but if you don't want it to be pajamas you're going to say minus pajamas and it will return all the results that do not include the word pajamas and that will make it so much faster for you okay so now we are specifically looking at women's red plaid pants gap has a pair of them. They don't have the ruffles around the pockets, but that's specific to that designer and copying that would be copyright infringement. So I highly doubt that you're gonna find it from a reputable retailer. But let's keep looking. Here's another one from H&M. Not quite the same design, but something similar. So let's see if we can refine our search over here. You can search by seller. You can see right here on the left-hand side, you can search new items or used items. You can refine that way, the color, and even through the price. So I wanna say also let's remove the word skinny because we don't want them to be skinny. Talbots has a pair. Um, I'm guessing that cut is not necessarily what she's looking for. Tartan, that's another keyword that we can search to see what else it turns out. I'm liking these gap ones actually. But let's instead of plaid, say tartan. Bingo. I think this looks a lot better and a lot closer to what she's looking for. I like these. These are from Etsy. I don't know if they are used, but let's check it out. No, handmade. I bet you that you could message this creator and say, hey, I want something similar to that, but will you add ruffles in some way and send her the inspiration photo? She can't exactly copy that design because that would be copyright infringement, but she can certainly create something inspired by it if she's capable of it. And a lot of the times you're supporting a small business like that and it's a great way to get something custom made for you that is going to fit you perfectly. And it's not outrageously expensive. For $38, I think it's a really, really good price. So if you're willing to add an extra $20, $30 for that for the customization, all you can do is ask. Like, if she says no, then whatever, you already have the no to begin with. So give it a shot and let me know how that turns out. I hope this was helpful and that this gave you an idea of how you can look for specific items to include in your capsule. So if you did find this video helpful, it would mean so much to me if you give it a big thumbs up and if you leave me a comment below with any further questions that you have or any thoughts that you might have after this video. And if you're still struggling to find your personal style, I do have a great video that can help you with that. I will leave it linked for you here, how to find your personal style in three easy steps. I promise you, you will have a much clearer idea of your personal style after following the steps of this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Thursday.
拜。